And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fizz Elusive. So we're going to be taking the traditional elusive deck, you know, the Kinku Elusives with the uh, Kinku Allegiance. So we're going to be playing a lot of Ionia here, Kinku Wayfinder. But then playing Fizz in the deck. This is the new one mana champion. So this is something that we can hit off of Kinku Wayfinder. And we can cast a spell to be able to give Fizz Elusive. So it can be another elusive card for us. Um, and whenever we cast six plus spells, then we level it up. So because we're playing Fizz and we're not playing Omen Hawk, we don't really have something that we want to bounce right away. So I'm not going to be playing um, the Navori Conspirator that's just the two mana, two, two elusive because we don't have like the, the Omen Hawk that's, that's really important to bounce. Um, and instead we are playing a few more spells because we want to, you know, if we want to level up Fizz for six more spells, or if we want to just protect Fizz, we want to give Fizz elusive, we have to have spells. So I have like one rush in here that can, you know, just do, can be like our one, one mana spell. Uh, it's kind of the best one mana spell, um, I think. And then we have like some make it rains. Uh, we've just seen how powerful make it rain is in general. I'm going with retreat as our bounce spell instead of Conspirator, basically because of how good Return is. Return is awesome. The one mana summon an ally that costs three or less from hand. This card is awesome, but in order to be able to play Return, you have to play Retreat first. So we got a couple of Retreats. Um, and, uh, and then the other card that's kind of different in here is Key Guardian. Um, usually you wouldn't play Key Guardian in this kind of deck, but this could be something that you put like a barrier on the Zed or, or like a barrier on um, your Kinku Lifeblade or something like that first. Can really help with blocking. You put a, bar a barrier on whatever and then you play it. You can play that thing on defense um, to help you with a race. But this is as far as I, I feel like Key Guardian pairs great with Fizz though. If they use a removal spell on Fizz, we... Can, for two mana, we can counter that removal spell and draw a card. And sure, we get the barrier on an ally, but that's not that's not that important. So I'm going to try this out. Um, I feel like it could just do... It's not perfect, but it can do a bunch of uh, things that could help us win. And then, you know, we have like the normal top end. We got Jewel Protector, uh, Life Blade. We got that combo. Um, we got a couple of Will of Ionias for defense, a couple Deny, some Twin Disciplines. Um, everything else is normal. So let's give this a try. We'll see how Fizz Elusives do. If you want to play a solid control mid-range deck, what would you recommend? Um, honestly, I would probably... There's... Uh, so far, two decks come to mind. They're both kind of con control-ish mid-range decks. Um... Sejuani Frostbite if you like if you like Frostbite stuff and you like playing a, a bunch of Challenger and things like that and then I guess I guess the the Demacia Sacrifice is not a control deck and all right so I guess it's just more aggressive but but that deck is is incredible also um Besides that, just uh, normal decks, uh, Karma Ezreal or Karina Control. Both of those are are awesome. Um, if you look at like the the metagame list here, they're at the top. Um, the mo the Mobile Addicts metagame list. Um, I recommend both of those decks. Karina Control, Karma Ez. Those are both awesome. They may change some with the new set, which they probably haven't changed on there yet, but they're probably going to be changing some with the new set. I am the blade in the darkness. You're welcome, Gary the Snail. Especially the the Karma Ez. I guess it's called Ezreal Karma. The Ezreal Karma deck is definitely going to be getting some good upgrades from... <clears throat> from Ionia in in the new set. So hopefully they play something pre-combat. 
Because if they do, then I get to play the Wayfinder and get three blockers. Because we kind of need three blockers. Come on, play something pre-combat. No, don't just go to combat. Alright, well. This puts me down to two. Too little. If you ask me. I mean, if they have another fast damage burn spell, we're dead. Fast, fast speed. If they have another fast speed burn spell, we're dead. Yeah, basically they just have any removal spell we're dead, but I'm just going for this. I have many faces. This is my best chance of winning. Alright, aggro deck got underneath the elusive deck. That certainly happens, especially without having anything to play on turn one or turn two. I feel like I needed to mulligan more than I did. Looking for one and two drops. Kept like the four mana life gain card, but it was too slow. Is Deny good against the Maokai Nautilus deck? I think Lure the Depths is burst speed. Definitely get rid of these. I think we'll get rid of Deny. I'm really missing Omen Hawk and Navori Conspirator right about now. I mean, we have Fizz, so like that's like our Omen Hawk, but we haven't seen them at all. We haven't seen that at all, so it's not like we would draw Omen Hawk. You know, if we think of those being our one drops. There you are, Fizz. Do you think they just don't attack? Wow, they just didn't attack. Good play. I don't feel like that's worth it. All I'm doing is spending three spell mana to attack with a three-two. That's all. That's all I'm doing, and shuffle one Z in my deck. I 
I just don't think I don't think that's worth it. I think that we can probably do more than that. Set the hooks. All right, hoping this make it rain works. No, we're not targeting this. I really want to target this 4-1. Ooh, what's up, Dan? Got Legends of Runeterra in the bot. Okay. That is great. So you use, like, the... The semicolon... Okay. So just go to the go to the mtgbot.tv. Head on over there. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Right. Oh no. Okay. Alright, I will check Discord. All right, so they're devouring the Fizz. That's good news. That Fizz doesn't do anything. They're not devouring the Green Glade duo, the card that does something. Never see us so that's good news. The bad news is this Maokai making these saplings every single turn is going to be really difficult to deal with. I like that draw. All right, so now we got to the Windfarer Hatchling, um, which I guess we just cast this Key Guardian. There's not really any reason not to, because I won't have the mana to Will of Ionia anyway. So let's go. Let's go. All right, so they have... Unfortunate for me, they have the elusive blocker. Now that's only 13. Yeah, like they, they block the 7-7 seven, seven and they take 13. They go to 1. It's just how it is, though. I like our chances though, especially having Will of Ionia and Deny. Two real good cards.
So they will likely be playing a Nautilus. Nautilus. Which we will bounce before they play really cheap sea monsters. Because the sea monsters cost four less. I don't want them playing three sea monsters. Probably a free a free block, but it doesn't matter. Give them room to spread their leaves. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Alright, we got deny backup. Double deny backup. This should be over. Should be over. Oh, burst speed! No, not over. Oh no, that heals the allies. Okay, it doesn't heal them. Okay, never mind. It just heals allies three. It doesn't heal Nexus. Ooh, I got I got worried. I was thinking that was gonna heal the Nexus three. Got real worried there. All right, so our Fizz hasn't looked super good yet. Yet. It's been two games, though. It's been just two games. We haven't, you know, kinky wayfindered in some Fizzes. Or had turn one Fizz. All right, turn one Fizz. I'm going to keep Deny against the Heimerdinger Lee Sin deck. Oh, I didn't switch to, like, the Ionia board and everything. No, thermogenic beam. Boo. So I could play the Green Glade duo, but I want to Key Guardian the Zed. I don't want them to be able to use one removal spell on Zed. What's up, Mike? All right, yeah. Challenger. So Challenger is, is something on your card that a, a creature with Challenger can challenge any blocker from the opponent. Vulnerable is something you give to the opponent's cards where if they have Vulnerable, then any of your cards can challenge that card. So it's kind of like the reverse effect. Um, so a creature with challenge with so vulnerable is bad for your own things because something with vulnerable can get challenged by anything. The dark beckons. Um. So 
just playing the Blade Scout right now because I want to keep the three mana Twin Disciplines protection on the Zed. So I'm not going to be playing Green Glade Duo like I'm, unless they tap out for something that I don't have to use Twin Disciplines on. I don't know why they traded there. I guess if I attacked out, they were going to block there anyway. Yeah, no problem. No problem, Mike. Yeah. Um... One thing also to remember if you're going to be doing the expedition, um, like with drafting and magic, you know, you, you know, curve, obviously curves are really important, obviously, but with MTG, you know, like whenever you draft, you choose, remember how you choose the number of, of lands that you play. So you can draft a deck with um, all sorts of low cost cards. And then, you know, play like 15 lands. If you do like an expedition deck with all sorts of low craft cards, you're still going to hit your land drops and so is your opponent. You do still want to have like some powerful top end cards. It's okay to have like a, a deck filled with one, twos, and threes and then just have like a random six, you know, a couple random six drops that are really powerful that help you win. Because you always hit your land drops. Kind of want to just bounce the Heimerdinger. Yeah, let's bounce the Heimerdinger. So especially like the draft mode, you know, it's just like draft and magic where the decks aren't as good, the games are a little slower and everything. So it's really important to have a good top end in draft mode. You gotta have that power. Uh Wait. Yeah, we'll just bounce this. So they don't get they don't get the the one the one one for Heimerdinger. My favorite champ in the the new expansion. Um probably Misfortune. Maybe Twisted Fate. I like both of those um, for like the Bilgewater champs. I also really like Sejuani. We go as one. I guess it is. I guess it is technically possible for me to try lethal if, if they like play a spell. And then I deny it, and then I could shadow shift the shadow assassin to make it 11 damage. Yeah, just go to the rewards tab, Mike. That's how you, you open... Oh, oh yeah, oh, your vault? Yeah, you, you got to level 1 vault. The vault is a weekly thing. So you're, you basically unlocked the level 1 vault. You keep on going until Tuesday morning. You, you get that. So you... Um, you know, you keep, you know, whenever you play, you go to, you earn level two and then level three and so on. You love, you keep leveling up your vault and it's, it's the weekly reward that you can get. Zython, welcome back for nine months in a row. Thank you, Zython. All right, so I'm doing 10, putting them down to one. Or no, putting them down to two. Oh, that still killed that? Oh, that was a waste. Well, that was a waste. All right, but now Heimerdinger with the freeze spells. This could get bad. Dude, it's going great today, Zython. New set, new region. 
I've been playing all sorts of new decks. Also, Mike, your your Twitch Prime ran out. Got to get that Twitch Prime sub value. Oh, Heimerdinger is great. Wish I would have dealt. Wish I would have put them down to two. I guess I should have blocked with the life blade. Hey, That's my yeah, that that block should be with the life blade, so I just go to eight, make it harder for them to kill me. Hmm. Wish I had some kind of some kind of protection. I just have a million cards. My dog likes to claw up my carpet while, while she lays down. I think that's supposed to make her bed more comfortable. Your bed's on the other side. You have a bed right here. It's right here. You have a doggy bed. Why are you doing this? Yeah, there's there's no better option, is there? This is what this is what I got. Wish one of these last couple cards that I drew was a spell to interact. You know, whether it was like a you know protection spell or something. This is what I got. I hope it works. Looks like it won't. Come on, work. Ooh, that's a good sign. Probably a good sign. I don't know, maybe not. Come on, work. Have nothing. Because we're, we're very dead if we don't win right now. Like, this is our last chance. And I ha I got nothing to protect. Okay, well. That was our last chance. All right, one and two. One and two. Let's keep make it rain against the Jinx deck. Oh, what's up, Fizz? We'll play the elusive thing first. Definitely feel like they're gonna make a blocker. Uh, is that thing? Oh well, we'll still get the elusive thing first, where we can maybe play the Fizz and have make it rain available. Yeah, so you can, you can, you can, yeah, it shows the champions at the very beginning. You can mouse over your opponent's deck, and you get to see their, their factions and their champions, so you can make uh, smarter mulligan decisions. Yep, yep, yep. And so it makes it, you know, even though it's a just a best of one game, 
you don't really feel like you need your sideboard because you're not going to just keep all of your anti-aggro cards and then face a control deck. So you get to you get to kind of know about what your what your opponent's doing. I'll do better this time. This one's trouble. I know this is a sad outcome for my fizz. But honestly, in this this kind of matchup, we just want to keep our life total high. You know, we're, we're facing the aggro deck. We just want to trade. I like seeing two ones. Get some more more one toughness things. No, four toughness. That's bad. Get one toughness. Want to make it rain? On your parade. I'll try anyone you want. Mm. The dark beckons. <laughs> Just gonna put this here. All right, so we're kill the two one toughness things. Guess that's about as good as I could hope for. Obviously, I don't like this block anymore. But oh well. We're gonna have a big Zed coming in next turn. Six five Z seems pretty good. Especially I can I can like double twin disciplines it right away. And make it so both no one's the wiser. Uh, let's just play this first. <clears throat> both the Z and the Living Shadow will be lethal attackers. Okay, this ended up being pretty bad. Backfired. But I'm at seven. We have a deny. We're, we're good to go. Yeah, I mean, we're just good to go. They can block Zed, but still take ten. I got all this protection. Moving into sight. So, I mean, they. Yeah. Alright, two and two. That time we beat the aggro deck. None escape their shadow. Hopefully, we have a really cool Fizz game. We haven't had a cool Fizz game yet. <laughs> yeah, Zed is nuts. Zed's real good. This this version hasn't seemed better than the the regular elusive deck and playing Omen Hawk instead of Fizz. But maybe this time. Alright, so my opponent's playing Noxus Piltover with no champion. So we don't really like they could be really hyper aggro, or honestly they could kind of be controlly. Probably hyper aggro with no champions. Now the protector life blade comp that is a good combo against aggro, but it's slow. So I'm gonna mulligan it and look for things to do turn two, turn three. Alright, looks like we got blade scouts, I like it. Well the problem is, is we may not have any one drops left for the Wayfinder. <laughs> We're gonna have two fizzes and that's it. Wait, really? Mushrooms activate Sejuani? Do they activate Gangplank also? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, 
never see it come back. Looking for beer? This one's trouble. Looking for beer? They do? Okay. Huh, okay. Yeah, that's different. I didn't I didn't realize that the mushrooms do activate those cards. Fears. I was gonna key guardian the blade scout and then play the blade scout. Now we just drew a shadow assassin. That's just better. My first big mission. No one's the wiser. Of course I'm ready. First step the hardest. Biz. I can do this. Dang. All these boom crew rookies. Bunkaruki is so good, too. We are really dead. No fear. You cannot escape. Wow, we are so dead. With all these Bunkarukis. So yeah, every attack it does two to us. Like we're taking You're like we're taking more. seven. Even with these blocks. That is a pretty nuts board, isn't it? Dang, triple boom crew rookie. My units are just too small, you know, I'm not I don't have like Omen Hawk that's pumping up my stuff. I just have Fizz that's kinda dying. Do you have a deny that can stop one of the triggers? Don't mind me. It's too late for you. I guess I don't. And hold deny to counter whatever spell they got. And hope that's it. Boo. Man, triple boom crew rookie is broken. All three of those boom crew rookies I blocked. Every time they attacked, I blocked them, but they still dealt four damage each. That's just too much damage. Yep, almost. Almost got there. Yeah, everything has haste and everything everything's vigilant and haste. So yeah, it's it really gives you uh, some You know some some card or some uh, you know, it takes some it definitely takes some getting used to but it gives you some good strategy of When to play your cards of like when you know, sometimes you want to attack right away other times You want to play stuff before you attack because you want to attack with those things So there's there's even more strategy of like when you're playing your stuff all right, so there's Fizz Elusives. It, 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 I think this is worse than uh, other Elusives, but again, want to try another Fizz deck, but kind of overall, both both Fizz decks that we played, like the regular standalone Zed Fiora, I think is definitely a lot better than Fizz Fiora. Um, but Fizz Fiora is fun to say. It's like one word, Fizz Fiora. Fizz Fiora.
That's fun to say. Uh, anyway, but Fizz Elusives, um, yeah, Omen Hawk, unfortunately, is... You know, and then, of course, Elixir of Iron. Like, Omen Hawk's big, and Elixir of Iron, big, and then, yeah, you get Nivori Conspirator. Unfortunately, I think that version is the way to go. But we'll still keep trying Fizz. We'll be looking for more things to do with it. But, um, you know, yeah, we'll keep keep trying. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, besides hitting that like button, which I'd really appreciate, let me know if you've been having some fun with any Fizz decks. You know, feel free to uh, let me know in the chat what you're doing. Um, over in the YouTube comments, I guess, you know, feel free to put, uh, put your deck list there. But anyway, that's it here for Fizz Elusive. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.